what's up guys we're gonna speak about phone lcd beginner our lesson objective will be what is the lcd repairing i need you to understand fully like a hundred percent what is the lcd repairing so there are three types of lcd repairing which are replacing the lcd to a new one replacing a screen glass only backlight circuit on the board okay let's take one by one to understand fully the details of what is going on here so replacing the screen which is the most important here this is the most important because in the big companies like apple samsung xiaomi hawaii whatever in case if you go to work inside those company they just replace the screen okay they just replace this they don't do glass replacement or stuff like that they just replace the old screen with the new screen you are going to take in this course in details okay no worries at all you will master this you will be able to to do any kind of a changing screen inside any kind of interview inside any big company there is no worries at all the second one will be replacing the glass screen only okay glass screen only not the whole lcd which is you're gonna find something like this inside the stores and shop okay in, in, in case if you start up a new shop or a store you will be able to give this service to customer in order to make the the cost of it changing the glass only will be not like the changing the whole screen so the customer will come to you will prefer you okay and this is super duper easy no worry we are going to speak in details and in full steps inside our course of how you can replace the glass screen okay but let me tell you something it is not important to know how to replace the glass screen in case if you're gonna work in a big company just like apple or something or stuff like that but we are going to take to take this because as you know we always play in all directions okay for people who want to join companies we we just give them all that they want and for people who want to start up a store or a shop we also give them all what all the experience that they need in order to start up a new how to disassemble any kind of any phone just go to google and write iPhone 6 Plus service manual, you will find to each type of each phone this service manual PDF which will tell you exactly how to work directly to disassemble any kind of any phone step by step by photos as you can see here all types of mobile phones has this PDF okay so it should be so easy as you can see here okay just type on Google and you will find this disassemble processes every single phone has this this service manual and this is exactly how we are working inside apple in this section we're going to speak about how to change a mobile screen which is so easy and also we are going to speak about how to change the glass screen the glass screen also okay which is also easy okay so we are going to take all the handwork inside this section get ready let's do it so guys in today episode i'm gonna show you the ultimate way in changing the screen protractor okay just this is so easy i'm gonna show you guys step by step in order to not broke the screen itself and to learn how to be like a pro one never ever lose any kind of any screen okay and this is so vital to know in in case if you're gonna open your your mobile store or whatever you need to be professional in this way and this is an extra episode for you guys in order to review this course i just need your help and your review is gonna be something it will help me so much in order to improve myself and to upload more and more courses for you so let's begin directly to show you the complete tips and tricks in changing the screen protector on the phone itself as we can see here this screen protector is completely destroyed so firstly guys we need to be to do this like this okay in order to not gain any kind of any dust okay we are just going to do this you're just gonna follow me okay guys and let me show you all the tools that we are going to use okay and the tools that we are going to use in this episode this is really i have uh, this is really how i have worked for like 10 years with the same tools guys i have never changed this strategy or this tool in order to change the screen protector so firstly we need this kind of Akai foam cleaner, okay? Akai foam cleaner. This is our first and foremost tool, and I will show you exactly how we are going to use this tool. And we need, let me show you this kind. I don't know if you'd find it in your country or not. I use this to do something like this on the screen itself, okay? You may use a, a card, a normal card, and try to add something like this on it. So let me show you it. So you know directly what is this. 
okay and the screen itself it doesn't matter what kind of screen that you work on all kind of all the screen protector all are the same so let's see how we are going to work guys but make sure to not get any kind of dust and this is come with the screen itself and this to remove the screen the old screen so let's start directly guys firstly remove the case first step okay and try to be the most cleaner person on earth okay just to try to be the most cleaner person on earth this kind of case is looking like the worst case i have ever seen in my life it's a phone of customers so it's okay it's not our phone okay it seems so bad but we are going to clean it okay i will show you the power of foam here on this case right now but well, let's firstly remove this screen and try to be guys as gentle as you can it is so easy to remove this screen oh my gosh this one is gonna need a lot of cleaning here as you can see the worst screen i have ever seen in my life <laughs> it's okay let's remove this screen so here guys let me show you the power of foam let me show you the power of foam we are going to need something like this guys okay okay this is the dry one we need always to start with the wet one okay so our first step is to clean with the wet one and just moving like this it is okay if you don't have something like this in your screen okay it is my first And this is our first step. As I told you guys, the game here in this kind of changing the screen itself is the cleaning way. Okay, you need always to be cleaner, guys. So this is our first step, guys. Let's go for the second step, which is, let's first be clean. Try to clean this. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's not gonna be clean. It's looking like the worst I've ever seen, but it's okay. And this is something for extra for your customer. Make him feel like you are going to make his phone glowing, okay? Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's okay. So this is the first step. The second step is let's make this one is ready because after cleaning with this one we need to go directly on this spot so this is the wet one okay but we need firstly to add this kind of foam let me show you the power of foam guys okay we need to yeah the phone right now is gonna be like a brand new you're going to see right now so let's see guys we need this one in order to make it so clean and we are going to use this one before we add this one okay this is just for letting you see how we are working on this As you can see guys the power of foam i added too much just for showing you guys this kind of too much guys okay let's add it here this is too much don't add this is amount okay but as you can see guys it's turning to be super duper clean zero dust and this form is gonna help you or gonna help us also to clean the screen after we change it in next episode we are going to add this kind of foam 
okay wow as you can see here guys completely new completely new so we have the dry one in order to give it the last wipe the more no dust you have on the screen like a hundred percent working screen itself so always keep the phone zero dust always make sure that there is zero dust on the screen itself okay and we are going to move with this one to make sure there is zero dust all this process is to make it clean before we go okay you always need to make it clean okay we are sober ready right now i don't see any kind of any dust here we are sober ready to go so let's make the screen ready and let me show you a tab here to do always make the direction of the adhesive itself not facing to your face okay it's facing the phone screen itself directly to not get a dust on it because in case if you got a dust on the screen itself it's gonna be like a hundred percent fill processes so we need always to make it this in this direction of the phone itself not in your direction okay we are not going to remove it in your direction no we are going to remove it on the phone direction and this is the most important processes here guys you need to follow okay okay let's go but before we remove this we need firstly to make our last We need firstly to make sure of our last processes of moving on the phone itself on this way. And this wet one is like, I like the material, but I don't know. Let's see. We are going to see. As I told you guys, we are not, this is my first time ever to use this screen. I don't know if it got or bait, but the processes or the aim of this on video just to show you the the same processes of all kind of all the screen on all the world they are the same so we are sober ready right now let's go guys let's go so as i told you we are going to go in the direction of the screen itself okay guys As we see here, we need to make sure that everything is fine here. Yes, it's super duper fine now. Super fine. Guys, always wear these gloves be before you stop working because those gloves are going to protect your hand from the heat itself. We are going to work with the heat, so you don't need to work without these gloves, okay? This is a thermal gloves which protect the hands from the heat itself. First step, set this separator on 100 degree and just bought the, bought the screen for like five minutes. Don't worry at all. And don't forget to dismantle all the phone, okay? As we always say, it, always dismantle the phone, remove the battery and all kind of this stuff. We're gonna use this cutter and the heat gun in our second step. Just we are just waiting until it getting heat. Maybe we don't need this heat gun. Okay, it depends on how hard is the glue itself. We are gonna see here. The second step try to go from this corner. Okay, what if you see something like this happen? It just not don't want to get we are going to use the hot gun instead in this situation. Now, 
as you can see the hook gun helped us to go inside and move like this in a circular way okay and guys just move slowly as you can see here just move so slowly okay because maybe there's something inside you don't need to mess with anything inside so try to move slower as you can see here so easy then slowly guys slowly 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 and here you can see the screen is completely going out not broken going in a good state you can even use this screen again we can repair it and use it again okay and this is exactly how we can remove the screen and change get the new screen and don't forget guys to clean the frame let me show you how to clean the frame this is our third step is to clean the frame we are going to use this one to clear the frame just moving like this you see here like this okay our third step is to clean this frame from any glue I just need it so clean guys let me do it so you can see in front of the camera we're going to move also in a circular way we don't need all kind of this glue because this glue may destroy as you can see this glue here it may destroy the new screen So you need to make sure that everything is going fine. Just be patient with this. As you can see guys, it's super clean now. Okay, always clean this. But what if what if we can't clean just like this? We are going to bring the home gun. We're going to bring the heat gun and just move again in a circular way. Let's keep cleaning guys as you can see it's easier now so easy to go and I glad that I show you that to understand exactly how to do the cleaning processes so it's so easy right, right now make sure guys you don't hit the cameras Okay, and remove the cameras, guys. Don't leave the cameras. But in case if you can't remove the cameras, it's okay. But don't get the heat beside the cameras and sensor. Watch out from the sensor, cameras, and speaker itself. Okay, watch out of all of this. As you can see, it's so easy to clean because we've just we've just heated it. It's super clean now. As you've learned in my hardware code going to use, I prefer to use a transparent one as a beginner, okay? You must use a transparent one. And the transparent one is much more cheaper than the black one, so you can use the, the transparent one until you got that lead of knowing how exactly or when exactly to use the black one and when to use the transparent one. So I like to use this transparent one. So we, we are going to go on the corners only. We are not going to go here on the body itself, no on the corners only here like here as we did with the, the hook gun we are going to move just like this as we are going to see right now i need you to be an artist here in this step guys just move slowly as you can see i'm moving slowly and just on corners okay it's so easy guys Super duper easy. And this type of glue is really good.
Okay, as you can see, I'm moving slowly. Okay, and watch out. In case if you find any sensor or any speaker or anything that, that this is going to be destroyed, okay, don't add a glue here. Never ever add a glue, okay? Just move slowly, just like this, okay? I'm doing an artist thing here. Don't worry at all, we are going to clear all of this. It be patient here guys, so be patient. Okay, this is not like our hardware repairing. So all of all fine now. Let's close this glow. Never ever keep this glow open. Close it directly. then let me tell you something here we need to know when you are going to center the phone itself you will look at the camera itself and add it inside but firstly remember to add this firstly remember to insert this firstly and go with on the cameras it is so easy to center as you can see here super duper easy really easy it's like we are working in Apple right now so great and easy so the last step will be cleaning before holding okay let's clean this extras so we are going to use a hand crochet here and start cleaning just like this easy busy Make sure that all the phone and all the frame is super clean before holding it. And don't worry, if you forgot something, we can also clean after holding it, if you forgot to clean. Okay, but it's better to clean it right now before the, the glue gets stuck. If it, is, if it got stuck, don't worry at all. And let's move with our finger, just like this. That's why I like to use uh, these gloves while doing these processes because it can help me in these processes. And the last step will bring in the fixer. Let's add the fixer together. And make sure guys you are making a fix to all four corners. I just lost the one here. I just have my three, so it's okay. But you, you need to use the four in four corners. Don't use three only, you need four. And you leave to you need to leave this phone in on this state for like 12 hours okay i just leave it for 12 hours at this state and you are going to clean it with 530 to make it like glowing you are going to give it to the customer like a brand new phone okay never ever give a phone to the customer without cleaning to do the last step of cleaning which is cleaning with 530 Okay, just like you are going to brush like a spray on 530 and then you are going to use this handkerchief and this is off. Okay, you are just going to take the phone and just leave it until it get the stick and don't forget to, to apply this for fixer. Okay, and everything is going to be like a company changer. You are doing like Apple right now. So see you in the next episode. Welcome in glass screen remover. Look, today we're going to remove the glass from the screen itself and this is so easy. No worries at all we're gonna use this robe as you can see 
it's uh, it's like a golden one and it is so thin okay we are going to use this so put the screen on the separator and don't forget the temperature is always 100 here okay do not exceed 100 and do not make it less than 100 okay and move around like this okay do not move do not do not make this rope around your finger because it may cut your finger like this don't make like this okay just make as you can see here on camera okay and make sure as you can see here and make sure you are going under the glass screen directly you're not going under the backlight layer or whatever just under the the, the glass screen directly okay we are going to get in right now and make sure as you can see my hand is here is not that up it is in the level of the iron here okay it is in the level of the separator here as you can see my arms is in the level of the separator and i'm trying to go under the glass directly as you can see here as you can see and my arm is in the level of the separator i'm not going up or down okay and i am going as you can see one by one one by one one by one until i get reached to the end and just move slowly it's okay if you cut this rope you can go again from the up okay as you can see i am going again for the second time i am about to remove the glass here okay as you can see okay the screen is fine as you can see but the glass is broken we don't need the glass anymore we are going to change it okay and this is how we remove the glass it is so easy guys it is so easy to remove it we are just going to use the rube and the separator as you can see the screen is completely not broken and it's completely great we are going to put another glass on it so everything is fine here and easy it's more easier than the changing the screen itself so no worries at all because people may feel like there it's a dangerous to change the glass it may block the lcd or whatever no it will never block the lcd all you need is just go under the glass directly this is all what you need to do just go under the glass directly okay and this is a touch layer which i holding right now as you can see it's a touch layer Okay, we are going to clean the, the, the screen as the way that we clean it before with the, the OCA remover. Okay, we do the same. We are going to clean the screen and we are going to add another glass protector, which is so easy. So let's do it again. Let's do it again because I need you to, to understand that it's so normal and so simple and all this process is going to be the same in all kind of all mobile phones. So no worries at all. Let's do another one and you are gonna master it no worries at all here we go this is screen okay make sure as our first step make sure temperature is 100 on the separator itself and make sure you are going under the backlight directly okay make sure as you can see i'm trying to go just make sure you are under the glass screen directly not the backlight not the lcd screen okay it's under the glass as you can see i'm just moving so slowly okay one by one under the glasses screen until i move to the end just one on the right one on the left as you can see i made zoom to make you see what is going on just moving one by one one for the right one for the left until i reach to the end as you can see here it's so easy i just go one left one hand and my level of hands not getting above the separator or under it just in the level of the separator itself okay let's keep going i make a zoom out to make you see let's keep going down let's keep moving down okay i just need you to see what is going on i'm just moving down with with the rope as you can see here and when you see the rub is stuck just like this, okay, try to move gently and slower. It will make bust this to this area as you see here. Okay, we got out the glass and here you see the screen is completely fine and great. Okay, it is completely great. We are going to make it clean with the OCA remover and everything is going to be fine and great. As you can see here, we need to use the OCA remover and the glass went out we don't need to use the glass anymore so it's okay in case if the glass is working okay try to move more slower to not break in the glass itself because maybe you need to take this glass and to save it inside your shop or your store so it's okay as you can see it's not broken it's completely great because i moved slowly 
okay in case if you need to use this glass customer came to you and he wanted to change customer come to you and he wanted to change the, the screen the whole screen not the glass and you want to take the glass from the the old screen this is how you can make to take the glass from the old screen and keep it inside your shop and you can sell it back okay so in this case you need to move more slower the more slow you move the less risk you have okay the more slowly you move the less risk you have